I'm Matt Bouchard with NareetsReet.com. Here at the Wynn Las Vegas for REIT World 2015, NARIT's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me for this CEO spotlight is Bobby Taubman, Chairman, President, and CEO of Taubman Centers. Bobby, thanks so much for joining us. Delighted to be here, Matt. Now, obviously we're seeing a lot more commerce being conducted online, but Taubman continues to see growth in all of its key operating metrics. What do you attribute that, comp that performance to? Well, we think it's the great assets in our portfolio. We're doing over $800 a square foot, which is almost $200 a square foot hi higher than the next best portfolio that's out there in the public markets. So it's, it's number one great assets, but we also find ways over the years to curate our centers with really the best merchants, whoever the hottest, most interesting merchants are for our customers. And it's all part of delivering on that promise to a customer by giving them you know, the best stores and that are available uh, to them in a market that drives the sales productivity and creates a reason for them to come to the centers. And Taubman has had a share repurchase program in place going on three years now. What kind of factors dictate when the company decides to buy back some of its stock? Well, there's no question it's pretty much a screaming buy right now. I think you know, the NAV consensus on us is over, well over $100, and we're selling you know, in the low 70s right now. So I, I, there's no question that people believe that the stock is at a discount. But when you look at repurchases, you always have to balance sort of the immediate accretion, both short-term and longer-term NAV, against the other uh, options to use that capital that could be very strategic in the context of growing the overall business. So it's always a balance. We, we've announced a $450 million repurchase program, which is actually up from our original program of 250. We've now bought back through the end of September uh, over $300 million uh, of that. Uh, so we obviously believe very much uh, in our, uh, um, you know, in our company and in buying our shares. Uh, but again, it's been a balanced, thoughtful approach uh, because you never know what's going to come down the line and you want to leave yourself the powder to be able to do things that you think are strategic and important. Now, the mall business is obviously all about the experience for the customer. What is it, what's the number one thing you want a customer to have in their mind when they leave one of your malls? That they want to come back because the most important thing is to fill, I talked about fulfilling the customer promise. Uh, ultimately, the great competitive advantage of a large regional shopping center is convenience. It's the convenience that's close to their home. It's the convenience to be able to come and park easily without big traffic jams. It's the ability to come uh, into a mall and have it clean and have it, have it safe. Uh, it's the ability to find all the shops, whatever kinds of merchandise, whatever price point it is, whether it's for your child, whether it's for your husband, whether it's for yourself, to find all of those variety of goods in one place. And that's all convenience. So if we can deliver on that promise, that customer is going to want to come back. And our customer base is always that that local customer base coming back is always the number one thing that we think about. Great. Bobby, thank you so much for joining us. Matt, thank you. We're delighted again to be here. For more from REIT World 2015, be sure to visit REIT.com.